Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to search engine optimization tutorials this is Ali Raza and today I am going to tell you how can you search and what are the different type of search techniques we have when we are performing SEO and uh, apart from SEO we should we should know that uh, how can you search on a search engine and what are the techniques uh, that helps you to get more precise results when you are searching on a uh, web search engine okay so let's start and have a look what we have today first of all guys let me tell you the type of searches or the searching techniques we have type of search techniques so these are basically two the number one technique we have is the basic search that we do usually and the other is the quick search okay quick search lets you uh, get the results in a more uh, advanced manner okay now uh, in basic basic search technique what are the ways you can use the keywords that are the most important thing and then you can use the wildcard search basically wildcard search is a search where you can be able to use the symbols like static and the other symbols like dash so with the help of static means all results dash means to exclude so I will let you uh, understand how you can do this with example okay you can search uh, by including phrases okay let's say you are giving two three words or a small sentence that is known as a phrase uh, that helps you more uh, and one more uh, tip for searching is that uh, avoid using long sentences because long sentences are of no use okay and you can use excluding keywords excluding words let's say if you if you are going to search something and you are you wanted that you need all the results except Facebook okay so how can you do that on a search engine you need all the results from a uh, World Wide Web from the search engine but you you do not need the results from Twitter you do not need the results from YouTube or you do not need the results from a specific website or a specific area so you can exclude those keywords uh, from your search so I will let you know uh, after uh, doing this theoretical task uh, in a practical manner okay now with the help of keywords how can you uh, use this these keywords here okay the first tip uh, for uh, for keywords is arrange the keywords on priority basis okay if I write here arrange keywords on priority basis let's say uh, I wanted to know about the benefits of Apple okay so how can you write here what are the benefits of Apple this is the one way but how can you write it more in a more precise manner okay Apple benefits or benefits Apple so priority is is a matter that you should understand here okay so you should write here benefits of Apple okay but here you can see off is an extra keyword so you can write it Apple benefits so this is a more pr precise search and you will get more enhanced results uh, with the help of uh, the keyword selection okay uh, most of the time the users are not familiar with these things so you have to make sure that you are using the same correct words and now uh, use the words that are frequent that appear frequently on your web page use those words let's say you have used uh, some word let's say Ali Raza on your website more frequently so use those words on your search engine so that uh, that particular content is picked up directly from your website and use the descriptive words avoid using the um, pronouns and adverbs and other adjectives use descriptive words that is describing what you need okay and avoid you avoid using long phrases that's the uh, tip on keywords now uh, let us uh, go on the browser and check what results we are getting when we are searching with different keywords all right so I have Google search engine in front of me and if I write here benefits of Apple so you can see a lot of things are appearing in front of me okay there are so many things now what I do I am changing the search like Apple benefits sorry the spelling mistake you can see the results are totally changed okay by changing the keywords you are getting getting totally different results I hope it is clear to everyone so this is the importance of keywords now let me show you how can you search by excluding something let's say if I write here Ali Reza Sardar Ali that is me 
So, let us see how Google knows. So, you can see if I am writing here my name. So, my name is appearing along with my YouTube channel and along with my uh, website and all other things, my Udemy uh, links and my other links also. So, you can see other, other people as well. But if I do not want the results from YouTube, so what I will write? I will write dash and then I will write here YouTube. Okay. So, let me show you how. Press enter. Okay. So, see the previous results? There were YouTube links, but now everything is appearing, but YouTube is not appearing. I hope it is clear to everyone. Is there any YouTube? You can see there is no YouTube result. There are no YouTube results. I hope it is clear to everyone. Okay. Like, likewise, you can see there are Facebook pages. So, if I do not want to see the Facebook search, so you can see now YouTube is appearing, but there is no Facebook. I hope it is clear to everyone. All right, guys, there are other techniques as well. Let us say <coughs> if you wanted to search something specific and you want that the way you have written the search results should be should have those things that you have written on your search uh, text bar. Okay, so let me write here, let us say um, buy and sell. And now you, you want that this buy and sell should be written in your search results exactly the same. So, you apply the double quotation marks from the beginning to the end. So, you can see the search results where you can see the buy and sell, buy and sell. Only those results are appearing in front of you where you see buy and sell is written on those pages. I hope it is clear to everyone. So, those things that you may wanted to make specific, you put it inside your uh, double quotes or double quotation marks. Furthermore, you can also add some words by applying plus sign. Let us say you can write here property. So, you are including some words. Okay. So, this is another way to use or to add words to your search. I hope it is clear to everyone. Okay. And you can use some other techniques like you can specify the time, you can specify the date, you can use your search engine as a calculator. So let, let me write here, let us say converter. So, when you simply write here converter, Google gives you the converter application uh, with your particular des uh, desired con uh, currency converter or what, whatever you wanted to convert with respect to the lens and the measurements. Okay. If you write here currency, simple, and you can see the currency related things are appearing in front of me. But if you write here currency converter, you can see what will happen. Automatically, it shows you your last search results okay, based on the converter. So, it gives me the currency converter. Okay. Similarly, you can write here calculator, calculator. So, everything your search engine is giving to you, giving to you based on your specific keywords. I hope it is clear to everyone. Now, let us continue further. Let us say if you wanted your results, let us say I am writing here Enigma machine. Okay, that was a machine that was used in the World War II. You can read the details, and there is a movie as well, uh, the Imitation Game. So you can uh, you can watch that movie. You can be able to understand how research is going on and how uh, the encryption techniques were used at the World War II time, uh, and how Germans uh, the uh, the German machine, the Enigma machine, was uh, decrypted by Alan Turing. He was a uh, uh, very popular scientist and uh, you can search about that as well. So, Enigma, okay, Enigma machine, okay, you can you can use that and you can search it like, like this. So, you can see uh, there is there are so many results based on uh, the similar thing. I hope it is clear to everyone. Now, you can specify the time sequence as well. Let me write here. Um, Rhymes or rhythms 2019. Okay, and you can make it from 2016 to 2019. So the search results are precised from 2016 to 2019. Okay, so you can specify the time duration, the range, or the definitions. All right, so that's from the that's all from the searching technique okay so hopefully you have understood how can you search and uh, 
uh, I'm expecting from you people that now you can be able to search in a more better way uh, when you are going to search uh, for a particular content. So that's all for today. Uh, do try this at home and if you don't understand anything, please write me. Thank you so much. Take care. Allah Hafiz.